An Iowa couple has extra reason to celebrate. They welcomed five bundles of joy. It's only the third set of quintuplets to be born in Nebraska. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Megan Matthews met the proud parents. She's live at Methodist Women's Hospital. Megan. Jen, the Garcias made history last week when they welcomed four girls and one boy into the world. The family of nine will have their hands full over the next few months. Five new Garcias. Mara, Cristobal, Arlette, Jimena, and uh, Rosalind. The first set of quintuplets to be born inside of Methodist Women's Hospital. Kind of excited and nervous at the same time. Just glad they're here and that they're all, they're all doing good. Jose and Bianca Garcia are the proud parents of four girls and one boy. The couple, tired after a long, tough pregnancy, had no idea what they'd be in for. Shocking at first. At first we were told there was three, and then we were told there was five, so we were like, oh my goodness. Born July 25th, the babies came almost two months early. Bianca spent nearly 15 weeks on bed rest. She could barely walk or eat. Doctors at Methodist kept a close eye on her every move. Every other week, every few days, we had some sort of complication we had to overcome or a scare, if you will, where she'd start to have contractions, and it was always a question of, is this going to be the day? The largest Quinn weighed in at two pounds, six ounces. The little bundles are still in the NICU getting IV nutrition and respiratory support. While doctors say they still have a long way to go, the proud parents are taking their journey one day at a time. Just staying positive, you know, not worrying, because I know that makes it worse. So, yeah. Just kind of day by day. Another two months before the Quints get to go home in Sioux City, Iowa, the Garcias say family and friends will help them get settled over the next few months. Reporting live in West Omaha tonight, Megan Matthews, Came TV, Action 3 News. And I hope those big brothers are ready to help. Thanks, Megan. Douglas County Health Authority. Watching Omaha's ABC, KETV Channel 7. Now more complete coverage from your favorite source for local news. KETV News Watch 7 at 5. And switching gears, it's five times the fun for an Iowa couple. Giving birth to quintuplets. Mom said she had to keep one thing on her mind. Just staying positive, you know, not worrying, because I know that makes it worse. Bianca and Jose Garcia don't know if they'll ever feel ready for this, but they say they do feel blessed. Yeah, it was a long, anxious way for the Sioux City, Iowa couple. Bianca was on bed rest for three months, and all the while, a team of 35 doctors and nurses at Methodist Women's Hospital prepared for this historic birth. I'm shocking at first. At first, we were told there was three, and then we were told there was five, so we were like, oh my goodness, what do we even do? Bianca and Jose Garcia more than doubled their family July 25th. Mara, Cristobal, Arleth, Jimena, and Rosalyn. The younger siblings to a nine-year-old and seven-year-old. Big brothers learning their role is bigger than they ever thought. But for the most part, I mean, there's not a whole lot you can tell them. I mean, we're just taking one day at a time. And that's how the pregnancy went, too. Six weeks in, doctors started tracking Bianca's every move, making sure she stayed pregnant for as long as she could. Dr. Todd Lovegren performed surgery to strengthen Bianca's cervix. Certain medications kept her from contracting. Every other week, every few days, we had some sort of complication we had to overcome or a scare, if you will, where she'd start to have contractions, and it was always a question of, is this going to be the day? But Bianca held on for 28 weeks, and it was extremely crucial. If the babies were born any earlier, doctors say they'd be at a very high risk for complications. I know I couldn't have done it with, you know, without any of them. A historic delivery and a successful one, too. And now that that's over, another huge challenge begins. I think we're, we're still wanting advice for ourselves. <laughs> Now all five babies are getting some IV nutrients and a little extra help breathing, but they're doing pretty well. They all weigh about two and a half, two, two and a half pounds, and they'll probably be in the hospital for a few weeks. Well, we have brand Oh, babies. 
says Sioux City Couple welcomes five bundles of joy on the very same day. Plus, a crackdown on child... From KTIV, coming to you in stunning high definition. This is News 4 at 10 on Siouxland's News Channel. Good evening, everyone. Five newborn babies are making Nebraska history. A Sioux City couple recently had quintuplets. That's five at an Omaha hospital. I think that's rare. Well, you're right. This is only the third set of quintuplets born in the Cornhusker state. Alex Hassel introduces us to the Garcia family. As Jose Garcia wheels his wife Bianca to the room, the soft-spoken couple is still unreeling. On July 25th, they made five additions to their family. She texted me earlier saying, hey, I think the babies are going to be born today. And it was like 20 minutes later when Dr. Loveman called me. I'm like, yeah. Carrying five children had its complications. Bianca had spent 13 weeks on bed rest, including 10 at the hospital. But now four girls and a boy have been brought into the world. Mara and uh, the boys Cristobal, Arlet, Jimena, and uh, Rosalind. The babies were born after only 28 weeks. At birth, weights ranged from 2 pounds to 2 pounds and 6 ounces. They've had some issues breathing. They'll be staying a few months at Methodist Women's Hospital to avoid any more complications. Obviously, uh, that's our priority right now is keeping them healthy and getting them to grow. With two boys at home already, the Garcias will have a full house soon, but say friends and family are ready to help. But first, it's just one day at a time. I think right now just getting them healthy so we can get them home. That's what we're worried most about right now. And later on, I guess we'll just see you know, how they grow. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And the previous sense of quince, do have Siouxland ties as well because in 2009 the McCormicks of Sioux City had their quince at an Omaha hospital and in 1998 the Jansons of Oakland, Nebraska welcomed five bundles of joy into their lives which would now be about 15 years old and and man it's interesting when you think about you know we've done stories in the past mm -hmm. how many diapers how uh, many changes just per boggles day. boggles the mind how many things they have to go through now. But at the same time very exciting and mm -hmm. and it's a good thing that the uh, little boy in the quince has two older brothers at home because he'd be pretty <laughs> outnumbered, right? He would be. Well, at least there's two boys, two little boys at yeah. home already that can help mom and dad when those five bundles of joy come home, hopefully in the next couple of months. Yeah, big congratulations yeah. from all of us here at KTIV. Now, live from KCAU TV in Sioux City, Iowa. This is Channel 9 Eyewitness News at 6. Well, a Sioux City home just got a whole lot busier. Jose and Bianca Garcia have welcomed five new babies to their family. Stacy De Silva joins us now with the Quint Essential Details. There's a hint. Over to you, Stacy. <laughs> Thanks, Jen and Tim. We've got Mara, Crystal Ball, Arleth, Jimena, and Rosalind. For those of you keeping track, that's four girls and one little baby boy. The five babies were born at Methodist Women's Hospital in Omaha last Thursday to their proud parents, Bianca and Jose Garcia. They're the first set of quintuplets born at that hospital since it opened three years ago. The Garcia babies were delivered at 28 weeks and weighed about two pounds each. I'm shocking at first. At first we were told there was three. And then we were told there was five. So we were like, oh my goodness, what do we even do? This marks only the third set of quintuplets to be born in Nebraska, and believe it or not, 10 of those 15 babies are from Sioux City. This is the Kevin and Jody McCormick clan, born in 2009, seen here when they were just one year old. Must be something in the water here in Sioux City. Now, as far as the Garcias go, it won't just be the seven of them. Jose and Bianca already have two other boys, nine-year-old Jose and seven-year-old Abraham. That makes Nine people all together, a home full of noise, but also full of love. Right, Jenna? Yes, and some good big brother helpers. Congrats to them. Well, speaking of babies.